Up now is Derek Kim versus Jeffrey Poo. Uh, Derek is going to six and Jeffrey's going to four. Derek Kim was this year's 2015 Tad Cup winner. So enjoy. Jeffrey is a super regular here. He's here every day, at least a few hours a day, maybe twice a day.
Jeffrey takes the first game. Jeffrey is racing to four, and Derek Kim is racing to six.
That's Jeffrey's second game to four. And Derek Kim still yet to get on the board. Daniel won his match against Trin Lu. Jeffrey looking at the nine. Or at least I hope he is.
<laughs> I wish you were there at hard time last year for the Alamo tournament. Mm -hmm. I won that, but no one was there. <laughs> no one was there, huh? <laughs> it was a tough field. Um, well, because of the money, yeah. Take one step. Thank you for watching.
I don't know what Jeffrey's doing with that bridge. Kim gets on the board. Hey, Ron Meadows next. Yeah. You're probably going to have to restart the system. It's lagging. Uh, it's running a little glitchy. Okay. Like a little okay. here and there. Okay. Especially when you uh, make the scoreboard big. Graphics heavy. Did you clean the memory? Yes. Okay, I'm back. We got our own Jeffrey Pooh versus Derek Kim. Jeffrey's up three to one. Six four race. That's that means Jeffrey's on the hill. And he rattles the two. Derek Kim is a longtime player of uh, New World Billiards since they started in 2010. Very fast player. And um, works real hard. He works uh, overnight. The graveyard shift over at a company called Woodward. And every time I see him, he says, I'm tired. I don't get enough sleep. But uh, there's times when he doesn't, he doesn't play like he's tired. I don't know how he's doing in this match, though. He is down 3-1 in a 6-4 race. Oh, nice bump on the uh, three on the seven ball there to get shape on the four.
nice shot, but the six ball is going to be covered. Kicking. Left Jeffrey a shot. Jeffrey plays here at the Golden Q. He's from Taiwan. Derek's going to get another chance. Six doesn't go. Nobody wants to make it. Here comes Derek. Hey, let me handle that for you. Jeffrey's going to grab the bridge. Looks, looks relatively easy from here. There's a cue ball going. It's going to get a perfect bump. He's going to need the bridge, though. day for Derek. Wow. It's going to make it 3-2. And that was Jeffrey's game ball. This is why you always make them shoot it. This is uh, Daniel, and I'm joined by uh, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. How you doing, buddy? Huh? How you doing? Huh? Just you want to play with the keyboard? Wee. Okay. You want me to play with this key? 
if you want to. Geraldine's got a match now with Ron Meadows. How is Roger doing? We don't know. Ah, Geraldine's gone already. I don't know if she's still in it or not. Poor man wants to take twenty dollars on the dog. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, yeah. Jeffrey, I don't know what he's, if, if he's feeling, if he's feeling uh, like he's confident, he'll try to bank this in. Tried to bank it in. I'm not playing Ron Meadows. You're not? Who are you playing? Playing JB? No. Um, oh, Aaron Estrada? Aaron Estrada. Geraldine's playing Aaron Estrada. Good luck, honey. She gets four games into a race to six. <laughs> so good luck to Geraldine, everybody. Playing Aaron Estrada. Uh oh. Jeffrey just can't seem to close anything here. Cue ball needs to slow down. got a slight angle on the three he could elect to uh, use the uh, bottom rail and roll up past the four for a shot on the four if he's feeling if that's you know the comfortable way to do it see how he wants to play this force follow come around two rails behind the four for a shot in the same pocket and that's how he's doing it but uh, that ball died on him Shout out to Red AC and poor man in the chat room. game for Derek. Yes, another game for Derek. So three to three, the only difference is Derek is uh, going to six and Jeffrey's going to four. So Jeffrey's still on the hill. He's had several chances to uh, send Derek home. However, just unable to close out. So let's see what happens here.
Jeffrey's gone to take a quick break. So uh, with that, we want to thank our sponsors, Kamui Tips. At uh, KamuiTips.com. Check out KamuiTips.com or KamuiBrand.com. Actually, check out the Kamui Brand website. I think you guys will like it. You'll Where you will find a complete comprehensive list of all international sponsored players all the products that they use and find out a lot more about the uh, Kamui products that are out there be sure to check out Kamui glove Kamui chalk uh, and if you need any of those items you can always hit me up personally I do have some of those items with me on hand so thanks to John Bertone and Kamui also, POV Pool would like to thank Checkio and uh, Checkio.com. Check out the uh, new nutritional supplement from the Netherlands, which is soon to launch officially in the United States. All natural. And uh, sweetened with stevia. I have uh, the capsule and the beverage. If you want to check out free samples of Checkio for precision focus, specifically designed to help with focus and endurance. Also want to thank grindandclothing.com and uh, Lawrence Melton in, uh, in the Midwest. for some of the smoothest apparel out there. Whether it be playing pool on your BMX or skating. Some of the best urban gear from grinding. We'd also like to thank a local cue maker, Joey Chin. Joey Chin Custom Cues. Joey also does repair and cue maintenance. So if you need a tip or a new ferrule or any kind of repair whatsoever, check out uh, Joey Chin Custom Cues. Thank you to Joey. He's also going to be giving us a sneaky peat. If you want a chance to win a sneaky peat from Joey, built by Joey Chin, come on down to the Golden Cue for the uh, December 19th. charity tournament that we're having here on the bar tables. We still have entries available. So we can help the uh, the local uh, Holiday Wish Charity Toy Foundation here in the city of South El Monte to help get toys to the underprivileged Meanwhile, back at the ranch, wow. That was a careless move by uh, Derek. He missed the seven ball completely. So let's see what Jeff can do here. Jeffrey's, uh, looks like the tough, the tough shot is gonna be the four to the five. Right now, actually, he looks a little straight on the two. He's got some angle, but if he's not careful, he may end up uh, with his cue ball behind the four. Very nice shot. Came out with a lot of spin on that cue ball. He needs to, he needed to be a little flatter on this ball, but uh, he can roll this in slow. Nope, he's gonna go three rails around. It's good, good, but four, like I said, guys, four to the five. What are you gonna do?
coming up next, folks. We got a little girl power here. Uh, we got Jenny Lee playing uh, Golden Q local Eric Chen. Jenny Lee and Eric Chen, and I believe that's an even race. Jenny Lee, very strong player. She's been on POB pool several times, uh, defeating Melinda Wang in a race to 18, I believe, playing 10 ball back in the 2012-13. Uh, Action match that we had at Hard Times Billiards. Jenny Lee, very strong. Married to uh, Richard Grenier, also known as One Pocket Rich, is going to be playing uh, Eric Chen, who has a sort of a... He's also, I believe, from Taiwan. And uh, he's a local here at Golden Q. Plays here quite a lot. He has uh, somewhat of a snooker stance, a snooker stroke. Very reminiscent of a... Uh, European stroke or you know stiff kind of rigid stance so that match coming up after this nice combo and remember now Jeffrey who just shot that ball is on the hill We have a young uh, player here, too. Uh, his name is Roger, and I believe he's Japanese. Uh, pretty talented player. And I think he's only around 12 or 13 years old. He's in the seventh grade, so I don't know how old, how old will that make him, about 12? I thought he was uh, Filipino when I first saw him, but his, his mom is Japanese. And Don McClellan brought them along. Don McClellan also is here, yes. Derek is hooked. Wow. Yeah, he's kicking at this. He's gonna play to, he's kicking this to make it. The, the six, the nine might help him out, no. Didn't come close to the nine. A lot of green here. Oh, that went in sweet. Okay, Jeffrey, do it again. Do it again. This one's a lot tougher. This one requires a draw stroke. Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, though, it's it's not that much tougher. Um, it's actually a little easier because you're just drawing into it. But uh, when I say easier, I mean, the first shot wasn't that easy. <laughs> this is a pretty tough shot. It's a spot shot, basically. But uh, he will have to, uh, he will have to stroke into this ball. He has to draw this shot if he wants shape on the nine. Ooh. He played it right, but Dug in real good. And this one's no picnic either. Really? All you gotta kinda do is just roll this in, follow. Wow, Derek was lucky to get this. Now, what's Jeffrey gonna do here? Is he gonna play uh, a billiard? It's on. You can play both balls at once here. 
she goes. The chalk comes off out of his hand, and the hands shake. And that's going to do it for Derek Kim, who is defeated by Jeffrey Wu, four games to three. And moving on now, we're going to have Eric Chen versus Jenny Lee. So uh, enjoy this match. It's coming up right after this. Hey, it's Marty Kerr here. I want to tell you about this new carbon fiber jump gear that I've created. The new carbon fiber jump gear has a solid core that adds density and weight to the cue. We've all been in situations where the ball is hanging in the pocket, but we're blocked by another ball. As easy as it is to use, a novice intermediate player can benefit as well. So if you're looking for a jump cue that does it all, this is the one for you.